us to start the second VOD here. So ladies and gentlemen, no international introduction book because we don't have any time. Insolence is up 1-0, oh, we are here on Lost Temple. He was able with a proxy gate, double proxy gate to win the first game against Hazu Ops. Um, now we have Hazu Ops spawning here at the 6 o'clock. He was able, by the way, to win against Zoki in the quarterfinals and winning against Zoki in a PvP. Uh huh. Not that bad. And of course Zoki is very good. I think he's much better in PvP than he is in... Um, He's much better in PvZ and PvT than he is in PvP, because in PvP so much can happen. But he is still Zoka and he's a damn good player, and Hasu Ops was able, was able to win against him. Showing us that he was able to win a best of three uh, PvP already today. And uh, one other thing, um, but before that, we got Insolence here spawning at the 9 o'clock at the Red uh, Brother. So we got close positions by air, long distance was by ground to say something absolutely new and one thing I was uh, well, one other thing I was talking about is um, another way to um, defend against a possible uh, proxy gate is um, to scout it out early get your own proxy gates up <sighs> and um, or just if you spot the uh, pylon being robbed in right away or the gateways just move out with a bunch of probes and kill the uh, Pylons um, before they actually can warp in some units, but this all is um, this all depends on. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got distracted by the chat. I will translate it very soon. Um, but it all cost depends on if you are able to spot the double gate or not. And because of the long rush distances and the long scout distance on Scrap Station, it's very very hard. Uh, to scout this right away. So, uh, to let me trans uh, let me tell you what they're just talking about. So, uh, Hasu was telling, so you know what's coming next, and Insolence is asking him, are you going to jump? And Hasu was saying, uh, you take the scroll, or the roll, uh, of a night elf. And then uh, Hasu said, yes, he's going to jump. Maybe this is some Warcraft 3 talk. I know that Hasu Ops does, uh, does have a Warcraft 3 background, I'm not so sure about Insolence. But maybe that's it's uh, that is was coming, so um, maybe uh, someone in the chat will elaborate. Uh, which uh, what does this mean? I know there we were some scrolls in um, Warcraft Three as items which the heroes could use, but uh, it was quite a while ago since I played Warcraft Three as the last. And it, to be honest, I forgot quite a bit about it. Uh, I know only that the custom games, all those tower defense, those pirate wars and stuff, this was really, really funny to play. And I still like to play some of the custom games here on um, StarCraft 2 as well. And the best custom game ever, by the way, is was called Zone Control. Twelve years ago I was playing it on StarCraft 1, okay, um, or Star Brute War, I'm not sure, I think it was even StarCraft 1 before Brute War came out. But let's focus a little bit on what here is coming up. So we got, um, the warp gate is about the same, um, the warp gate technology research is about the same for both guys. We got a hidden pylon here for Hasu Ops, we got a pylon here on the low ground for Insolence. Not sure why he built the pylon on the low ground. I mean, if he builds on the high ground, he can warp in units to the high ground and warp in units to the low ground. But with no vision, he can only warp in units to the low ground. So both guys finish with their warp gates. Um, Hasu Ops got his um, pylon here. On the other hand, um, Insolence got his forces there. And Insolence, he's got already three stalkers. He's got a single um, zealot out. And now the question will be, is uh, how many units will Hasu Ops be warping in? So he's got two zealots and two zealots in the middle of the line of of course, uh, why not? He needs to protect his ramp, he needs to watch out there, Insolence going for another pylon here at the front. So where are the units of Hasuops right now? He has no units in the base, he's got only two pylons in there, and of course the stalkers will go for the, not for the pylon right away, but instead for the probes. Now the probes of um, Hasuops are running away, so he's leaving um, 
letting everything it be. He got enough Minerwits to go to warp in some more units because he's just got some more units of his own he warped in in the base of Insolence. Of course Insolence is still mining but not with many probes at all. Insolence is already down to 8 probes. Um, and Hasuop's got the unit advantage here. He will be able to get rid of the remaining probes as well. They are now running away and she just needs to kill this one pylon to prevent Insolence from warping in any more units at all. And because Hasuop's pulled back all of his probes. He got the better army right now because he's got just more stuff than Insolence got. House of Ops is at 13. Um, Insolence is at 13 supply. House of Ops is at 30 supply. And now um, where are the forces of Insolence? And looks like Insolence already realized that he lost the game because he's got three stalkers. Now he's bringing the three stalkers in position. He's still got the Nexus alive and he's still got so many probes. Meanwhile, um, how many probes is Insolence? He's and five probes. Uh, House of Ops not with the best choice to move his probes up there right away. But uh, he's got now the vision to the high ground. Now the probes can attack the remaining stalkers. They even try to go for a surround. Uh, Hasu having his units here on the low ground. Uh, still got the vision. <laughs> 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 and Insolent saying, uh, I hate you so much, but with a Korean smiley face and the GG and the well played. So, good job by Hasu Ops taking the second game here in the really nice base trade because uh, the decision by Hasu Ops, as soon as he um, warped the units here in, at this pylon, the decision by him to pull back all of his probes, uh, meanwhile, Insolent was not pulling his probes away, um, Hasu Ops uh, got the. Um, unit advantage and with all the probes and his uh, three stalkers he was able to kill the probes of Insolence. So good job by him. So Insolence uh, losing the second game to Hazo Ops. So Hazo Ops is now um, tying up the series to one run. So this best of five just became a best of three. And jungle base and will be the next map, so I can imagine some, some more cheesy play here coming up right away. Of course, I like to do on jungle basin is cannon rushing. Cannon rushing on jungle basin and PvP is so much fun. And Hasselhoff saying, "Okay, I have a good idea here on this map right now." Uh, by the way, let me just um, stop and restart the uh, VOD.